Welcome guys to episode 2 of Operation Premiership with Coventry City. Um, we're currently in League 1 obviously. Uh, we've got a fair few games to go through this these last two months. I've, I mean, We're in start of November, I've got September's and October's to bring you. Didn't realise how many games there were to be honest. Um, so we'll get cracking on those fixtures right now. So, last time, last resort I bought you was the MK Dons game, so we've got all these to go through. Uh, like I said, there's a fair few, so we get cracking. Um, Swindon away to start with wasn't a bad um, result, to be honest, 0-0. Uh, we played them away in the cup, um, got beat 2-1. So, to be honest, the 0-0 draw I was pretty pleased with. Um, as you can see on the stats, we probably just edged it, but on the day, a draw was a fair result, and I was pleased to get out of that, considering we both got into it with a 100% record, uh, staying unbeaten, and it's clean sheets as well. Next up was Bournemouth. Um, wasn't too pleased with this defeat. Um, we had Joe Murphy on international duty, Chris Dunn had to deputise, and Bournemouth's goal came when they hit the post it bounced back hit Chris Dunn and bounced in the back of the net um, I tried to get an equaliser but nothing was happening that day up front as you can see from the average rate in 6.8s and 6.6s for the attacking players there was nothing there um, disappointing performance from the lads and statistically they did outplay us they had more shots more shots on target they created a clear cut chance as well and had more possession so can't complain really, they deserve the three points and uh, we'll have to try harder in future. Next up was Yeovil, now these next two games I had them down as six points, thought it would be really really easy um, and the first game was Carl Baker after 24 minutes and David McGoldrick after 68 giving us a 2-0 win and as you'll see by the stats we were dominant, we had more possession, more chances, more on target, more clear cut chances as well. We really, really deserve this win and it could have been more. Um, Yeovil never really troubled us and I was never worrying about the uh, three points. Then we played Berry, and we got beat 1-0. It was a penalty after 18 minutes which just really, it does my head in when someone wins 1-0 with a penalty because they they just on my in my eyes they didn't deserve it on the day we had more we created more shots and to be honest from the highlights they hardly had a chance on the highlights but um, they won one nil they've taken the three points so there's nothing to that we can do about it now we just have to try and get back to winning ways and we, getting back to winning ways we did away at Doncaster I thought this would be a tough one. Um, and we won it 1-0 thanks to a goal from David McGoldrick three minutes before half time um, we had more chances they had slightly more possession but it's to be expected away from home um, I was pleased with the 1-0 win um, and we definitely deserve the three points on the day uh, decent performance from the whole team David McGoldrick starting to score a few goals for me now so hopefully he can carry on the form uh, next up was a game at home to Notts County now Notts County always seemed to do me over on football manager so I was pretty pleased with an 0-0 draw um, it was a fairly even game they slightly edged it on shots but on target it was the same similar in possession as well it was a, a close game and to be honest I was pleased to come out of it with a 0-0 draw it's a clean sheet as well but we do need to start scoring more goals because at some point our defence may let us down and we need to be able to come back and win that then we went away to Sheffield United who at the time were running away with the league and I was really really not looking forward to this game I thought we were going to lose but we put in a solid performance Leroy Leiter after 6 minutes getting the only goal of the game and we held on throughout there were 6 bookings in this match 3 either side so it was a feisty affair um, pretty even throughout any t either team could have won it um, it could have finished a draw but in the end we got the three points and um, I was very pleased with that result um, but then we had a bit of a disappointing one draw 1-1 one, one away at Oldham we took the lead through 
uh, Salahuddin Sabai after 35 minutes um, and I was really disappointed because then they, we conceded a sloppy free kick crossed into the box and we should have cleared it but Mvoto headed home uh, straight away they got back level and I went for it but I just couldn't get the goal as you can see we had more possession away from home as well more chances more on target but we just couldn't find a way past the Oldham keeper for the second and, win and the three points but it is a point and we do it is a game unbeaten so can't complain too much but then we played Leighton Orient at home and our home games are killing us at the moment we're just not winning in the league at home we took lead through Carl Baker after 27 minutes then Leroy Leeds was sent off for diving getting his second yellow in 8 minutes on 66 minutes and we were dominant up until then and then they started pinning me back I had to go counter attacking and a defensive formation and they really really did hammer at us in the second half as you'll see by the stats their stats went up they did more than us on both we still had more possession but they that was how dominant we were at the start and Martin Rowlands made us pay for it five minutes from time getting the equaliser for Leighton Orient to grab them a point and to deny us all three which we really needed at that point um, then we played Doncaster at home in the Johnston Paint Trophy already beaten them away in the league a few games earlier and this time we beat them in the cup um, Carl Baker after nine minutes and then getting his second just before the the break uh, to put us in two nil up and then Doncaster got a penalty in the 64th minute to make it 2-1 but the match stats again don't really reflect it they did have more chances on target anyway um, but we had more possession and from the highlights that I saw we were the more dominant side um, Doncaster only really had their penalty and one of the chance that was shown um, I wasn't really worried about them scoring uh, they did have a chance late on through in Hume which was saved by Joe Murphy and uh, yeah through to the next round so I'm pleased I'd like, like a little run in the JPT it's a winnable competition definitely then we went away to Hartlepool and our away form is the only thing that's been keeping us going so far we haven't lost away since Bournemouth at the start of uh, September we beat Hartlepool 2-1 um, Carl Baker after 22 minutes putting us in front and then we conceded a sloppy equaliser to James Pauler on 73 minutes with a header at the back post um, but then three minutes from time we won the game through Scott Flinders own goal um, to give us all three points Gary McSheffrey was sent off late on but that was a Hartlepool counter attack they were breaking clear and McSheffrey brought the guy down on the wing got a second yellow and to be honest I was happy he did it because they could have quite easily got an equaliser in stoppage time if it wasn't for him um, we had more chances they had more clear cut but that shows what we were making of our chances we were taking them when we got them and uh, the possession was pretty equal but a 2-1 win is a pleasing result go away um, then we played crew at home and I really thought this was three points in the bag but it wasn't they really did do better than us on the day AJ Leach Smith after 38 minutes giving them the lead and Gregor Robertson in the second minute of injury time just to put a nice fine finish on the on the win that was actually the first time this season we've conceded more than one goal in a game and we had more possession we had more chances but at the end of the day we didn't create anything clear cut and all these shots were all long range we never really troubled crew and I never really felt like we were going to get the equaliser throughout the whole game I was pushing for it and pushing for it but it just wasn't coming and crew did well to hold us off and uh, then make the victory secure then we played Car Carlisle away and we won 3-0 this was a very impressive result uh, Leroy Lita scoring his first goal in quite a while to end a barren spell after 14 minutes he then doubled the lead after the break on just before the hour mark and Gary McSheffrey 10 minutes after that making it 3-0 and on the match stats it was pretty even but we had more possession and we had more clear cut chances as well we really we took our chances when we got them which is what we got to start doing 
uh, but we've got to start doing it on a more regular basis but that's a perfect win three goals scored and a clean sheet perfect win we then played Crawley at home and again our home form let us down we lost 1-0 we played poor throughout uh, we didn't have a single shot on target in the entire match as you'll see there we didn't have any clear cut chances obviously we had 17 shots but not in target in 17 shots is poor uh, the possession was equal but at the end of the day I'm not going to deny Crawley their victory they deserved it they scored the goal seven minutes from time through Carl McFadzian uh, from a corner won the game and if we're going to be improving these attendances because that's less than half the stadium full we need to be winning games at home especially um, but it was a poor performance by the team on the day and I'll be hoping for a better performance in future so that is the roundup of the September and October review. Um, there's quite a lot of games there, four defeats in there, but there was a seven game and beat and run, including the JPT match. Um, so let's see where we are in the league. And as you can see there, we are fifth, dropped off the top. We are only five points away from Sheffield United, who, like I said, were running away with the league before I beat them. Um, but we're only a point off second place we've got the second best defensive record in the league but that goals for is letting us down as you can see Colchester scored nine more than us um, Sheffield United scored seven more Notts County four more Preston five more we need to start scoring more goals um, take away the Carlisle game there's only 15 goals scored so we do start need to uh, scoring goals and get ourselves up that table and start challenging for the title but it's nothing to get worried about yet it's early on in the season there's only a third gone and we are in the top six so we are uh, challenging for it so hopefully we can uh, push on in the next couple of months so I'll give you the fixtures for the next episode um, now November's quite a lengthy month there's uh, eight games scheduled so um, we'll have to see I'll do those eight games that will be the next episode because this one's been a pretty long one. Um, so those eight games will be the next episode. Uh, we've got the FA Cup first round against Hartlepool. We've just beaten them so hopefully we can progress in that cup. Um, get a bit of money in. And then I may live come the Chesterfield game in the Johnston Paint Trophy. We'll see. I'll have a think about it and uh, see if I can do it. But um, yeah, so that's the update for now. You're up to date guys. So... If you've liked this episode, please give me a like and subscribe. It is appreciated. Um, I hope to see you soon. See ya.